Yes, welcome back to another episode of Two Beers, One Movie. We're talking about everything, everywhere, all at once. Here we go. Yes, what a film to uh, to talk about. Easily the film of the year. Um, one of the films of the past decade. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Directed by the Daniels is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, let's get straight into it. It stars um, Michelle Yu as Evelyn Wang. Stephanie Husu as Joy Wang. Uh, Kei Hyung Kwan from, uh, from Indiana Jones as Waymond Wang. And the brilliant James Hong as Gong Gun. And also the Scream Queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis. It's about uh, an aging Chinese immigrant who runs a laundry mat. She gets swept up in this crazy adventure in the multiverse where different versions of herself and her family live in different universes where her daughter and one of the other universes is trying to wreak havoc. Um, they can they can mind jump to different versions of themselves in different parts of their universe and take their ability. So, <coughs> so multiverse is a huge, huge thing at the moment. Um, we have Doctor Strange, we have Spider-Man, and this is much better than both. Um, this is easily a head and shoulders above. It has, it has heart, it has action, it has comedy, it has family. Um, some of the comedy in this is so fucking funny. I was laughing out loud. Laughing out loud. It has uh, an absolute phenomenal scene regarding a anal butt plug dildo. One of the funniest scenes of the year. It will have you in stitches. There is also uh, some amazing action. Action to rival any Marvel movie. In fact, there's even parts that you actually think you're watching The Matrix. It's how good it is. The writing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, at the heart of it all, this is a movie about family. Yeah, it's a movie about acceptance, both in your community, both with yourself, uh, with your sexuality, um, with in your family yourself. It's about what if. It's about regret. Um, it's about what if I did this? Would this turn out that way? Would it not turn out that way? If I didn't have a child, would I've done this? I have a graph for this and that and it really hits home and it's real realistic for even a film like this where people can actually understand and relate to something uh, something like this and th th that's really the message I think it's trying to send and, and amongst all this it's at times it's hilarious, at times it's quite downright fucking, like sometimes bonkers. Yeah, the action is amazing as I just mentioned, the performances are absolutely phenomenal. You, you're going to be on the edge of your seats, uh, both with the fighting scenes, both with the comedy. When it needs to be real and, 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 and show something that's true and, and real to people, it grounds itself really, really well. And that's only, that's down to the writing, the performances and the direction. The editing is amazing too, some of the scenes the editing is just fantastic and it's just a really really enjoyable experience and this is what cinema needs it needs something that's unoriginal and i know people will say well the multiverse is not unoriginal but this type of family comedy drama that willing to push the boundaries is definitely something original um and my score uh for the now for the time being is four beers out of five most likely that will go up after another couple of viewings but it's absolutely a phenomenal piece of work and i just i can't wait till i know people that see it going, so i can discuss it with them just how fucking great this movie is so please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Two Beers, One Movie. Peace out.